on uh, YouTube about how we conversation. don't like white people. <laughs> uh, a New York high school student took a copy of Super Smash Brothers Melee with him to prom. <laughs> when high school senior Chris Burwell couldn't find a date, he decided to take something very close to him and set, instead, stashing the disc for his Melee game in his jacket pocket. Apparently, he took it out of the case because he was afraid the school would confiscate it. <laughs> what? Uh, so it was literally just the disc. He took like the when disc. I first saw this headline, I thought maybe he had rigged up some cool thing where he was actually carrying around like a playable game <laughs> at prom. No. But no, he, he just has the disc in his just pocket. Just has the disc. It, he tweeted it, out about it. It was it was super disappointing and apparently that is the really internet weird. the internet loved it. And I feel like we should be shaming this kid. He uh, tweeted out about it saying he was like I didn't get a date so I took my one true love with me. Didn't like, even try. Oh. I mean, it would have been. I, see, the thing is, if you could put like a TV on a stand on wheels and like have a powered battery and like carry that around, that would have been sweet. But mm-hmm. like, I I feel I like know. this is getting a shitload of undue attention because mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. what basically what happened was the guy decided to just take the disc with him. He didn't. Do, I don't think he even did anything with it at prom. He just like took a picture of himself. Like, haha, I'm gonna take this in my jacket pocket instead of taking a woman. And that's that's it. That's the whole story. Even more than that, he probably did not mean to take it. He was checking through his coat. Was like, oh, I've got this. <laughs> oh, look <laughs> at that. Found my prom date. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, like, if he had like you know, taking it out at prom and, like, they had put the pin spot on him while he was dancing with the game disc or if right. he had, you know, like... Caught him trying to give it a handy in the bathroom. <laughs> Whatever it, it may be. Using it to give himself a... Ugh. Get the... Get the... Ph- get the photographer... Ooh, yeah. Get the photographer <laughs> to take a... You know, take a nice, like, high-class photo with the thing. You know, like, if that's the shit that he was doing, okay, fine. I get how this would be a news story. Mm-hmm. But it just, yeah, this, this seems like a whole bunch of undo attention from people who don't really know like i mean this one the 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 source on this is fox news okay Uh, so uh, what just say whatever credibility just just saying just saying okay so you know this is this is just oh look at what these wacky gamers are doing uh slow news night uh, Golden Must State spend. Warriors forward Draymond Green has quit playing video games, <laughs> saying he likes to win and wasn't very good at them. Oh, kind of the man. embodiment of our get good thing, isn't it? Isn't uh, that a punch in the dick? It it sort of <laughs> is. But you know, he's an MSU grad too. He yeah, is. He is. Yeah. He is. But you know what? He's got other things to focus on right now. I think not being suspended for one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Start there. Plenty uh, of times for those vigima get. Oh wait, he quit mm. those. <laughs> no, but I, I, it's it's funny it, 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 with the whole get good thing. Uh, one of the one of the trailers for uh, from E three, the God of War trailer. Uh, there was a there's a great quote in there that I just absolutely loved mm-hmm. that is sort of related back to the get good thing, which was uh, you know don't be sorry, be better. And oh I, yeah, and I was like I was like oh that's a great quote. And then now I'm also <laughs> seeing. I'm seeing commercials that are like, you know, failure is the way that you get better at something. Like, right. you try and you fail and you try and you try again. And and I was like, okay, so, like, this idea is actually starting to take hold. I'm, and I'm not saying that it's, like, emanating from us by any means. But, uh, but I, we won't I, disagree with you if you say it. But <laughs> I think, I, no, but I, I, I think that, like, the, that whole idea of, um, you know, undue adulation, undue pr- Raise undue, uh, you know, undue rewards for things are starting to wear thin on people. Uh, 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 you can only get participation trophies in shit for so long before they start becoming completely meaningless and mm-hmm. and yep. and start feeling like. Uh, like arbitrary rewards for nothing. People want to be rewarded for things that they do well. Uh, and so, yeah, I think that that's just kind of uh, an extension of that, but. Uh, and anyway, I thought that was funny, and that's what's going on in the news. Yeah, you can you can take the Draymond Green approach and just say ah fuck video games, or you can take the T Pain approach and say I'm going to stream them. <laughs> uh, I I like T Pain's approach much much more. Uh, if you would like to call Final Encountercast, Final Encountercast on Skype eight one zero two zero seven one seven six four. Uh, please uh, make sure to uh, get your calls in here on Skype. Uh, we are going to be talking about some anime. Anime. Uh, uh, anime. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of... 
a, a little bit trepidatious of this topic. <laughs> Not just because... I feel like we can't have an anime episode without our one true weeb, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Like we all know that he's the real anime fan here. We yeah, we all know how how much he secretly loves anime, especially Nintendo themed animes. <laughs> <laughs> That's I think really right in his sweet spot. Oh, now man. if we can find a Nintendo themed anime with a card game in it, oh, he'd be in heaven. <laughs> Yeah, is there a Yu-Gi-Oh that focuses on like Mario or something? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hang on, uh, 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 Robbie. Uh, how big of a fan was Chris of Yu-Gi-Oh when we were in college? Because I remember it was somewhat a large part of his life. Is he gone? What? what? Where are you? You're. 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 <laughs> I don't think his mic's working. The so technical like, difficulties. Say, that happened right as I started changing Skype things, and it scared me. <laughs> yeah, well, we did. his video still here. We just we lost your sound, buddy. Okay. Huh? Uh, that timing couldn't have been worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scared right? the hell out like, of me. Right, one time right, doing uh, Skype. Right <laughs> as I'm asking a goddamn question, too. Uh, anyway. Can sign it for us? You know, like sign language or something. Uh, Chris, uh, I know. I know. Chris was a huge fan of uh, of Yu Gi Oh. Was he really? Yeah, he had a lot of cards. I, oh, I, of the I game remember. or of the show? I think of both. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. But card games on motorcycles. What about that, man? <sighs> it's like Yu Gi Oh. Five. What was it? Five you know, D or Five G? It's weird to say that that's where the show got bad <laughs> because the show was already pretty bad. <laughs> But man, actually, from did it what fall I hear, the manga point. actually makes it a lot more intense, and the anime really does a disservice. The, to manga, the manga actually is pretty. Like you don't go to the shadow realm when you lose; you get a limb cut off. Yeah, like it's a lot. <laughs> the manga more is it. hardcore. <clears throat> was Yu-Gi-Oh done by four kids? Oh, <laughs> was it ever? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh God, was it ever? So uh, we're gonna call this uh, discussion "Your Waifu Is Shit" uh, <laughs> because it my is my waifu, best waifu. Uh, so I, I just sort of want to start out like where 